You are looking at a live picture from our Martinsville New College Institute sky cam. Looking off in the distance, you'll notice some um, really impressive clouds. These are called towering cumulus clouds and it is an indicator that uh, not too far away from Martinsville you do have some thunderstorms out and about. We've had passing thunder showers throughout the course of the day. We're going to continue to have the chance for some hit or miss thunder showers from now through probably the mid to late evening hours. You'll notice that we are seeing some pretty heavy rain out across parts of Patrick, Carroll and Floyd counties. Another batch of heavy rain moving in to Tazewell with even into uh, parts of Bland counties. We're going to head up north North and show you that we're dealing with uh, some pretty nasty weather out across, say, Monterey South into areas near Covington, even into Clifton Forge, parts of Rockbridge County, also dealing with some very heavy rain. Uh, nothing severe, you need to know that, but some of these cells capable of 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts and also perhaps some pea sized hail. There's also quite a bit of lightning in a few of these cells, especially in the one that I showed you during our forecast first down out across uh, the uh, Carroll, Floyd, and Patrick County line. Right now, we've got anywhere between around 10 and 20 lightning strikes out and about. All right, you're satellite and radar composite on the regional view showing that we're not far at all away from a severe thunderstorm watch box and that's inclusive of uh, say parts of uh, Washington DC northern parts of Virginia into uh, areas near Hagerstown even into Baltimore Maryland uh, so it looks like the worst of the weather will probably just stay to the north of us but I will tell you that uh, all the rain that you see towards West Virginia is heading east towards us at around about 20 to maybe even 25 miles per hour future tracker showing that we're going to continue to be on the unsettled side through probably Probably 10, maybe 11 o'clock. OK, after that, we're going to have some fog developing. This is Saturday morning. This is at 730 and you'll notice that we are going to be dry with some hazy sun as we head into the afternoon. I do think that the best chance for a few thunder showers on Saturday will be the closer you get to the North Carolina Virginia border. So you folks say in southern parts of the New River Valley, also out across parts of Southside, probably have the best chance for some isolated thunder showers. It looks like any activity will wind down early tomorrow evening and then on Sunday it looks like we're going to start out the day partly to at times mostly sunny and it looks like we're going to continue to see more sun than clouds as we head into Sunday afternoon with only a very slight chance for a stray shower or thunder shower. Red Sox Potomac Nationals first pitch tonight 705. I'd keep an eye to the sky if you're going to the game. Looks like uh, during the first part of the game, say the first through maybe the fourth or fifth innings, that's your best chance to pick up on some passing thunder showers. I would say after that we're going to dry things out. They're scattered in nature, which means you may or may not be hit with these, but if you are going to the game, have your poncho. First inning temperature in the mid to upper 80s, falling into the upper 70s by say the eighth or ninth inning. For the day on Saturday, the best chance for severe storms will stay to the south of us. Not in the realm of possibility for one of those to pulse briefly to severe limits out across south side tomorrow afternoon. But the severe weather threat tomorrow looks to stay south. It's 84 in Lynchburg, 81 in Blacksburg, 72 in Withville. The heat dome through today was pretty much right overhead for us, but that will shift to the west as we head into this weekend. And that means for us slightly cooler air, but it is still very, very muggy with those dew points in the 60s and 70s. Feels like the Bahamas out there right now. And your heat index, well, it feels like 96 in Roanoke. Still feels like uh, near the triple digits out across parts of South Side. Any thunder showers end tonight? Some fog will form with lows in the 60s and low to mid 70s. Partly sunny tomorrow. We are looking at the chance for a few late day thunder showers, especially the farther south you go with your three degree guarantee high on Saturday, 89. We're in the upper 80s all the way through Tuesday, 90 to 95, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Early next week looks to be a little bit unsettled. Wednesday and Thursday, though, look for the most part dry. Mm, 